So apparently out in California, they have that um, truckers are protesting um, the whole AB5 law and just uh, this all this um, stuff that's going on with the industry to the point where a lot of truckers have Coming chosen, now. chosen to shut down uh, operations for at least the next couple of weeks. But in the uh, process of doing so, they're actually stopping other truckers who insist upon like taking loads and stuff like that and they try to form like chains to prevent them from leaving and things of that nature and they also like pulling kingpins to uh force these truckers to lose their loads now sadly enough you know it, it, it's bad enough that things are the way they are but you know sometimes you just go too far and doing stuff like you you already blocking them from getting out to deliver the load but you're going to pull the kingpin which essentially could hurt that trucker in so many different ways you know he like although like i understand like you want that person to be on board with what you're trying to do but you never know like what this person might be going through i mean he, he may not be able to shut down or whatever so um sadly enough his 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 um uh, his uh you know, he may have to go out there and basically, you know, um, work, you know, for the, for the sake of his family or whatever. So, but you pull the kingpin, putting that man in more and more hardship because, you know, you potentially causing him to damage a load and stuff. And they don't care if somebody else pulled that kingpin. The fact is that load was in your care. So that's all they care about, you know, so. With that being said, I mean, I understand the whole, you know, protesting, um, everything that's going on within this industry you know and i'm down for like shutting down you know uh trucks for a week or two whatever <clears throat> with uh hopes that we can get what we want um but like this whole pulling the kingpin and all that stuff i mean that's a bit much like that's a bit much i mean because you got you got to figure too they got to pay for the expense of you know have, <clears throat> having a um a, a crane or something come out to lift that trailer up so that they can, you know, hopefully get back under the trailer with their truck, you know, uh, preventing the fact that there are any damages or whatever, but it's just, I don't know, it's just crazy. But um, like I said, I'm pulling for everyone out there, you know, um, praying that everything works out and works in our favor and that we can get what we want um, from this protest. Um, because like I said, I feel like everyone should be joining hands and in, in, in basically making this happen. I mean, comment down below, man. Let me know what y'all think as far as pulling kingpins and stuff like that, you know. Um, also, has anyone ever pulled a kingpin on you? Or have you ever um, seen someone pull a kingpin on another driver, you know? Um, I've seen videos of that shit happen and it's a fucked up situation. I was hauling a load. I want to say that was either in the Chicago or the <clears throat> any other area, but I saw uh, where there was a a trucker who basically had his kingpin for pulled, but his uh, truck the kingpin was pulled like uh, yeah, I think it was. It was I think it was on uh, 90, I 90, but his uh, truck the trailer had come detached from it like right on the side of the highway. So I don't know if he was taking a, a nap or something the night before and and basically decided to get up in the morning and pull off and then to his surprise he had lost his load because his kingpin had been pulled so what in the hell can make you so mad that you go up and you pull somebody's kingpin or whatever like what the hell did that driver do to you whether like not even just this whole situation with the uh the protesting or whatever but just period, because you, you see it all the time, where it's, or hear about it all the time, where it's, you see one of these truckers, disgruntled truckers or whatever, goes up and pulls somebody's kingpin, attempting to make them lose their load or whatever. But I'm like, what the fuck did they do that bad that made you that mad that you want to go out and just pull that shit? Like, you know, attempting to, because my thing is this, like, just say that damn trailer didn't come detached right away and they driving along, driving along the highway and all of a sudden it comes loose. And then that load goes out into the roadway, killing other people who had nothing to do with the madness that you was creating. Like, 
so 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 again like what the hell would cause somebody to do something like that i mean really like you gotta be a really really fucked up individual to even think along those lines i mean that's just madness to me i mean i just couldn't imagine doing some shit like that somebody freaking do some fucked up shit or whatever yeah you might get upset about it and and you may even want to go hands on or something like that, but I ain't about to do something where I'm going to end up killing somebody, you know, or, or seriously injuring or uh, messing up somebody's livelihood or whatever the case may be. So I don't know. That shit is crazy to me. Comment down below, man. Let me know what you think. Why Why do you think people pull kingpins or what makes somebody that mad that they basically pulling somebody's kingpin? You know, I need to know. Let me know something like shit. Maybe I'm missing something, you know, so. Help a brother out. So I see the price for fuel and gas is finally starting to go down. As you can see, diesel is down like 519 and super for like my car is like 475, which is great. It's a good ass feeling to see that these uh fuel prices and gas prices are dropping. Um <clears throat> I was talking to somebody and they told me that in like Texas, like Houston, Texas, there was a uh, gas station that was offering gas to um, people for like a dollar ninety nine, I think it was, somewhere around there. But you know, like, damn, we haven't seen those prices in how long? But it would be good as shit if they would actually um, start pushing those prices back down to that amount because it's so crazy because when we were paying a dollar ninety nine we all used to bitch and complain like damn you know they're gonna raise the damn price of gas from like 95 cents a gallon to like a dollar ninety nine or whatever and we bitch and complained about that and then of course when it went up to like thirty dollars a gallon we like fuck you know we want the gas prices to go back down to to a dollar ninety nine or whatever but um you know the sips over here about it going down to a dollar ninety nine in houston it was like pretty cool and if only everybody would freaking be on board with that shit but you know that shit ain't happening but um but yeah so i'm like where were these fucking fuel prices and shit when i was out there running on the road man Cause i think the highest that i got up to was like what seven dollars some change when i was out in arizona of course out in california it was like six dollars or whatever but you know it's good as shit to see that things are finally starting to you know come back down to normal but anyways, my good people, I'm going to end that video. I uh, just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what was going on out west. Uh, prayerfully, things will get better for those guys and ladies out there, man. And um, I wish them all the best. And uh, hopefully everybody gets what they want out of this whole deal. But anyways, I'm going to move on to the next video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe to this video if you like this channel. Um, I want you to share this video with all your friends, family members, your boo-boos, your bum-buns. You know how we do. Um, but anyways, until the next video, folks, I'm out.